Well, hello everyone and welcome to Momentum channel. My name is Mo and in this video, we're gonna be talking about six high quality communication sectors, uh, stocks that are considered to be undervalued or reasonably valued at this time. They do pay a high quality dividends and they uh, have been growing their dividend with an average fast or very fast pace over the years so without any further ado well, let's get into it our very first pick is telus communications with ticker symbol tu it has a dividend yield of 4.73 percent and a price to earnings ratio of 23.1 which is above its own fiber average telus has a dividend safety score of 72 making it a safe dividend pair Looking at its dividend growth history, it has last increased its dividend last year by 7%, considering to be an average dividend growth. In terms of the dividend payment history, TELUS has been paying its dividend for the past 19 years, and it's worthwhile mentioning that uh, those years, the past 18 years, they have been increasing it year after year. TELUS does pay its dividend quarterly, and it's paid in the months of January, April, July, and October. Next pick here is Interpublic with ticker symbol IPG. Interpublic has a dividend yield of 4.21% and a price to earnings ratio of 10.5, which is below its own five year average. Interpublic has a dividend safety score of 70, marking it a safe dividend payer. It last increased its dividend in February of 2022, where they increased it by 7.4% suggesting an average dividend growth. Interpublic has been paying its dividend uninterrupted for the past 10 years, and in the nine past years of those, they have been increasing it year after year. Interpublic does pay its dividend quarterly as well, and it is paid in the months of March, June, September, and December. On the third spot, we have Comcast with ticker symbol CMCSA. With a dividend yield of 2.72%, Comcast is showing a price to earnings ratio of 10.7. It has a very safe dividend paying uh, kind of score of 89, and they last increased their dividend in January 2022, whereby they increased it by 8%, suggesting a fast dividend growth. Comcast has been paying and increasing its dividend year after year for the past 13 years, and they do pay their dividend quarterly in the months of January, April, July, and October. Sirius XM is our next pick with a dividend yield of 1.43%. It has a price to earnings ratio of 18.9, which is below their own five-year average, and a dividend safety score of 61, marking it a safe dividend payer. They last increased their dividend uh, in October of 2021, where they increased by 50%, suggesting a very fast dividend growth. Sirius XM has been paying its dividend in the past five years, and in all of those years, they have increased it year after year. They do pay their dividend quarterly, and the dividend is paid in the months of February, May, August, and November. New York Times is another communication sector stock with ticker symbol NYT. It has a dividend yield of 1.28%, and the dividend has been paid in the past eight years uninterrupted. They have increased their dividend, though, in the past three years, and they have increased it actually last time in February of 2022, where they increased it by 29%. New York Times is considered another safe dividend pair, with a dividend safety score of 70. They do pay their dividend quarterly, and it's paid in the months of January, April, July, and October. And lastly, on the sixth spot, we have Electronic Arts, the ticker symbol EA. It has a dividend yield of under 1%, currently at 0.63%. They have a price to earnings ratio of 16.9, which is in line with their own five year average. Electronic Arts is another safe dividend pair with a dividend safety score of 80. They have been increasing their dividend and paying it only for the past one year. And so it doesn't have the longest dividend payment history and streak at this time. However, last time they increased it, it was increased by 12%, and it was increased in the May of 2022. They do pay the quarterly dividend in the months of March, June, September, and December. If you've watched the videos this far, thank you. And I wanted to point out to you that we've made a ton of video here on Momentum Finance about dividend paying stocks. In fact, we have a series for dividend stocks that I encourage you to check out and watch the number of other videos related to high quality dividend stocks in different sectors. Hope you enjoy them.
Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video until the end. I hope you found it beneficial and gained something of value from it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Here on Moment in Finance, we post every week several videos about investing, including investing in dividend stocks, growth stocks, penny stocks, as well as investing in cryptos. We also talk about ways to reach financial freedom. With that, thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time.